Hi everyone, once again welcome for the next yoga class and this yoga session will be for the overall health, for the general practice, for everyone of any age group, people just love it to dance, to be with the flow, to stay with the music, whatever you wish but stick to your breath, hold your breath and stay relaxed. Thank you for listening once again. So this is my daughter Ira, she will be again assisting with me. So far she's happy to stay with me. Yeah. So let's do some yoga for overall health. So facing each other, wider legs, two year width apart, hip width apart. So breathing in here, breathing out here, opening your palms, breathing in, look to the right, breathe out, look to the center, breathe in, look to the left, and again to the center. And again closing, holding the hands, breathing in, breathe out, smile. <laughs> Smiling is good, being happy is good. Breathing in and exhale, breathing in. I know it's COVID, we are not supposed to touch anyone, but some restrictions are there and some could be open. So we can use our family members to be happy with us in this yoga practice. So breathing in, standing in Tadasana, lifting your mood up and saying, ha, ha, thank you. Breathing in one more time and releasing everything from your body, ha, ha. Come up, breathing in and exhaling. Coming down, walking, walking, do not lose the grip from your foot. Coming down onto the all fours. So breathing in into the cat. Breathing out into the cow, breathing in again. We have to be a little quicker because we are doing an activity which involves your full body strength, endurance, and staying relaxed. Coming up into the child pose, touching your forehead onto the surface, allowing your eyes to close or open, whatever way you prefer. So, staying in here for one two, three, four, and five. As you are coming up, just slowly roll your back, tuck your chin in, and stay here, and sit in Vajrasana. Thunderbolt position. So breathing in, clap up. Breathe out, clap down, in front of you. Breathing in, and breathe out. Think of the sound, how you are clapping as you are rising up. How is your breath flowing with the clapping? How is your breath going down with the clapping? So again, hands to your heart, lifting right knee, giving a nice lunge, stretch onto the other side. There you go, awesome. Thank you, then again sitting, holding your back, hands either you can interlace your fingers or you can just hold the wrist on each side into the left or right whatever way you are comfortable so breathing in this will be a more practice going forward it will be a deep forward fold but it's a very good exercise for the whole back and stay here and come up you don't need to practice for three or five times just one time is efficient if you are doing it for the first time. So just be careful for your shoulders, careful with the back, that as you are going in, so as you are breathing in and breathing out, and a little bit suck your belly in so that you can create a little space so that you can fold easily forward. Then coming up with your hand on knee, come straight forward. Again, facing your partner, facing your family member, facing your child to be more connected, opposite arms opposite this one hold together breathing in and releasing swing back bring together opposite arm breathing in and stay relaxed stay relaxed deep breaths deep breaths thank you Ira now I'm switching forward so we'll be doing some forward folds. So switching to your right side because we usually practice the yoga onto the right side. 
So expressing your gratitude to the world, openness to the world, and be generous as you open your arms. Be ready for hugs. Be ready for love. So breathing in, and then holding your waist slightly, and then moving forward, forward gently. Do not push yourself at once to come down. Just be there. Find a beautiful spot for yourself so that you should not get the rounded back. You should get the flat back up to your height, up to your weight, up to your mobility as well as the flexibility of the body. So let's do one more time. So breathing in, opening heart, opening arms, rolling the shoulder blades back, hands on the waist, breathing in here, sinking down. Let the gaze, let the focus, eyes calm down and touch the ground if you can. If you cannot, then just be here. Then come up slowly. If you cannot keep your knees straight or locked, you can also unlock your knees like this one. Be a little more gentle on your knees, that will help. So come forward into Tadasana for a deeper one breath. Again into the prayer pose, very essential because you are gathering what you have gathered together in your heart to spread beauty and love. Thank you. One more time, breathing in to the right. Again, interlacing your fingers. Very good exercise for the upper back. Stay here and come up and stay relaxed. The same criteria we have to follow as we go forward folds. So breathing in, hands back, chest open. Roll your shoulders back and stay relaxed. Now breathing in, only roll your shoulders one by one. To loosen the joints, to loosen any kind of tension as we're practicing, maybe we are practicing for the first time. So we don't know how our, how our body is going to respond. So we have to be a little gentle to our joints, the shoulder joints, the major joints. So breathing in and exhaling and then wrapping up together. Just stay here, you can do any moves and exhale. Again, breathing in and exhale. Drop down, let it go. First the tension, all tension, tension, tension here, tension here, and then whoosh, let it go. Very good exercise for first breathing in into the, holding into the tension and then relaxing it all the way. Thank you. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Great. Thank you so much. Then going back, foot forward, staying here, finding the space, Sitting into again all fours, tabletop position. Again, lying into the child pose. Come for three breaths. One, two, and three. Then scooping down, just like, yes. Come up and sit in this pose. Touch the grass, feel the grass. Enjoy this moment. Be with this ground, be grounded so that you can feel how your body is responding with the overall yoga practice. So for this one, stay here, breathing in, and again drop your hands. So now breathing in, just look to the trees. If you are not outside, that's fine. You can look to your pet, you can smile at your pet, or you can even watch TV in this pose because I know in COVID, people are mostly stuck in homes. So if you still have some time in your backyard, be there with the bare feet, touch the ground for a while and feel the beauty, how you are responding to the earth. Now go back from here, one by one, step by step, with the help of the elbows, with the help of the palms, with the help of the hands, and come back into the Vajrasana position. We'll be doing Cobra with the hissing sound, mm -hmm. and that is a very fun practice. Okay, so again, Shifting down, coming into the plank pose. And whenever you are ready, so breathing in. Keep a sound moving, keep a sound moving. It's very important. Breathing down, breathing in. Just like a cobra hissing. Yes, breathing down, again breathing in, lifting your chest. Thank you, Ira. And then wrapping yourself from the cobra into the downward dog. Yes, stay here. One breath, two breath, three breath. And then again coming into the fours and again into the child pose. Stay here. One, 
two and three then lifting your head up turning your feet to the right or left keeping your base onto the surface reach your ankles reach your toes on the outside on the inward so if there is any unstretchy material which is not comfortable with your joints as we are standing more so you will be loosening your joints more so stay relaxed and then lying down so one leg at a time so breathing in lifting the right leg up arms at the back of your neck to support you and relax you can also keep your arms to the side whatever way you prefer breathing in to the opposite side and relax keep breathing as you are progressing through any kind of yoga practice do not hold your practice please be comfortable please be relaxed and please enjoy what you are doing in any kind of yoga practice this moment this 30 minutes are yours so be there so one more time and stay relaxed simple bridge pose tucking your knees in lifting your body weight bringing your knee up and staying relaxed breathing in pushing down the ground with the four arms so that you can lift better and you can be more stable onto the both sides of your shoulders the weight is okay that's fine so balance your body weight as you are breathing in and lifting your body up and exhaling and sinking back into the earth or the ground and stay here stay here for relaxation for a few breaths it's not a shavasana but it's uh, important because all the time if we are doing and doing and we are not resting in between the asanas then it's then it will be a gym practice it is not a yoga practice so just rest move rest move and then pause pause find the pattern what resonates with your body and mind so after this we'll be doing a short practice of forward folds which is on the sitting way so i would invite ira to sit on this one so that she will be more easier while practicing and she'll get an extra grip to hold this one there are so many yoga poses which are classical traditional and sometimes we have to follow but with the therapeutic use of yoga and due to the restorative use of yoga we can switch the modifications according to person's demand and the mobility of their bodies so ira can you keep your both legs straight thank you so much now i will show you how to do this one so if you have a strap at home that's good if you don't have a strap you can use a scarf you really? can use any kind of Thing which which is easily convenient to you at that time so it's stuck somewhere just give me a second i think i think that should be okay for your height yeah, yeah. let's practice with this one okay usually this practice is like this you keep your you are sitting on your tailbone and you are breathing in and breathing out and touching your toes holding the big toes and now bringing your pull up with the arms making using your arms as your pulley to move in into in and deeper and deeper and deeper and out this is the actual but somehow due to the upper back issues we need this one for people comfortability because we need a safe practice not to yeah be in a different position so ira you will be holding this one okay. keeping into your balls of feet okay together so now holding it okay so use this thing as your arms okay. so go forward fold simple forward fold as comfortable as you can okay. so as you breathe in lengthen your spine yes and exhale and stay here yes great come back release this strap and stay here how was it it was good Okay, so sometimes this strap is easy. You can buy it from any store if you want to purchase because they are not that expensive. So again, breathing in and breathing out. Coming back down. Again, coming up. Breathing in into cat. And then again, cow. Again, cow. 
Museum Club. We are doing pigeon pose, so breathing in, lifting your right leg up, swirling and curling between your legs and sitting into the pigeon pose. This pose is very good for pelvic issues or any kind of pelvic instability because we need the prana, the energy to flow throughout the body. So breathing in, pushing back and exhale. Again, lifting the left leg up and again curling or swirling between your legs and sitting. You can even set the sit bones on your ankle, but I prefer to be more relaxed with the ground. So it's your choice. So breathing in and hands to the side. This is so my favorite here. pose. Thank you. So stay here and we'll be doing relaxing into this pose. Child again. Coming up, looking up, hands to your heart. We'll be singing Om for three times. Okay. Om. Om. and relax your spine sink into the bottom stay grounded and slightly open your eyes with a smile on your face rub your palms together and whenever you are ready just feel the moisture feel the beauty feel the warmness of your palms at how much you are working hard for your own health so just give yourself a little pat at the back that you did well, you did a good job. So now again, rubbing your palms and now closing your eyes. I love to open my eyes. I love to see the world with the glory, with the profoundness of love and compassion. And again, hands to your heart, Ira. Thank you. And then hands here, moving and standing, just drooling onto the side for the hips to a little bit relax, the pelvis which was stretched and relaxed. Sitting in easy pose. So we'll be doing Brahmri Pranayama. That is another technique. Very essential for any kind of, what I say, uh, insomnia, the sleepless nights we usually get. Sometimes we get so much overwhelmed or sometimes we are less, right? So breathing in, tucking, closing your ears. After three or four or five rounds, just relax back your neck and open your eyes. Hold your neck with your both hands. Keep breathing in and out. And stay relaxed. The sounds which are produced like a humming bee sound is a vibrational sound which resonates into the brain stem and it brings the positivity and harmonious balance into the nerve cells. So it's a very good activity for the relaxation of the brain, especially before going to bed. This activity gives you a better sleep, better digestion, better appetite because you are sleeping well and resting well. So again, tucking your chin, breathing in. So staying here for a comfortable period of time and now pull yourself up on the cross leg yeah like that and now switching sides we will be doing some side twists okay so Ira will be breathing into the right 
wiggle your fingers feel the air fresh air and do down to the other side wiggle your fingers feel the air and exhale onto the center again breathing in a big lateral stretch onto the side of your lungs and exhale onto the side breathing in to the other side two more times breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in up again but we are not doing zombies today it's just like a wrist so you're pulling the wrist to the side and then dropping the wrist onto the other side yes and now so next practice will be the cow pose so you will be switching your legs but somehow people can cannot even sit like this one so we i can show you another modification we can use in this pose this is very good pose for releasing the tensions on the upper back the mid back so so as you can see so the pose will be like this so you are holding but somehow if you cannot hold or you can reach up to here that's fine the only thing is as you are moving your arms that's fine as you are breathing as you are moving that's fine so just stay up to here up to whatever length you prefer or there is another option of using this thing as you are stretching the same belt you can stretch so breathing in and lifting like this so you can get an extra room you don't need to rely more on the stability of your arms and hands that you cannot reach so you can always modify some things to get better posture so keeping it to the side again sitting into easy pose breathing in here this practice will be balloon activity we are not using any balloons here but it's a visualization of a balloon so ira i invite you to feel like that you are filling up a balloon so your tummy will be rising as the air is filled up in the balloon and then it's drawing back it's a contracting it's first it's expanding then it's contracting back right so as you breathe in the balloon got filled and as you breathe out the balloon is flat I thought it was the other way around. Oh, okay. So breathing in, keep your hands on your tummy and feel the pressure of the air inside your stomach. Breathe out and feel how your hands get lower as you are breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhaling deeper. Visualizing the balloon of air filled and exhaling and dropping back where we started thank you hands to your heart preparation for shavasana so for shavasana this time we'll be doing a little easy one and i, I must not say easy one but this is more warming one for the people who wants to cuddle up in winters and they want to stay warm and no movement just a still body so you can always cover the body with the blanket or any kind of bed sheet whatever you have just tuck everything in so the body is not moving more not on the face <laughs> so just to the chest so the hands and feet remain warm all the time because if we are uncomfortable with the cold weather then it's not a shavasana then it's a kind of a frozen shavasana because we don't want to get frozen we need a little warmness of our own body so eyes closed just till your head close your eyes and if you want you can use the eye mask you can do that eyes closed breathing and breathing out staying focused with the breath
cuddling yourself into the beautiful warmth which the body is generating at this time. The heat the body produced for us to stay, to survive in any kind of situation, in any kind of weather. We still get little challenged and carried away with the seasons. But we know that we have the ability to counter, to fight with every kind of situations which are uncomfortable to our body and minds. So with that note, I invite you to just sink deep down into the own body temperature. Be with that temperature for a moment. And you don't need to think more, just get into more and feel how your body is responding to that temperature. Are you feeling cold? Get the opposite, hot. So find a little balance between the two in the beginning. With that note, just keep breathing in and out. Don't stop your breath. You can pause and then again start. Eyes would be closed or open depending on whatever way you prefer. And just stay there for a couple of more breaths. Stay tuned, stay focused with your own breath. Release your shoulders, release your upper back. Try to be more comfortable with the ground. Bring your awareness to the sounds, to the echoes. to the little droplets of the water. Visualize yourself into the best you can. Stay relaxed, stay relaxed, stay calm. Start wiggling your toes a little bit. And then hands, arms, just like moving. And as you, my dear, is in a blanket, so you can just breathe in and bring your hands up and stretch your whole body. If you're yawning, that's okay. That shows that you are relaxed. So you should be happy if you are yawning or be a little more comfortable than usual so that's fine so stretch feel like somebody is pulling you from the bottom and from the top of your head give a nice big stretch to the whole body so then wrapping it up bringing hands down again choosing the side left or right whatever way you prefer bending the knee one by one curling yourself up and coming into the sitting position. How was it? Great. All right. So for the next, you can keep it here. Yes. And here, we'll be doing meditation just for three breaths and it will be so hum. So as we are inhaling, we'll be doing so and as it we are exhaling, it's hum. It's a mantra, very powerful mantra to stay focused, to stay balanced. So breathe in. I will not repeat the mantra for the second time, but I'll be saying for once. Got it. So... Next two, silent please. After the third, last one, just breathing in and out and breathing in and hands to your heart. Thank you again 
for your great time. I appreciate. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Ida, yeah, for this welcome. wonderful practice. Thank you.